Hi, I'm Christina. I'm Maya from, from Book from Dreams. Dreams. And today we're gonna give you our owls wrap up. So the month of April was completely <coughs> devoted to the Owls Magical Readathon. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we each had like a um, profession that we chose. I chose librarian, Maya chose Hogwarts, uh, professor. Hogwarts professor. Transfiguration, was it? Yes. yes. So I had to read five books. Mm -hmm. My you had to read seven. Yes, one, yes. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Okay. Seven. So I made a short, not short. I made two thirty-minute vlogs uh, about the whole experience mm -hmm. of reading uh, the books for the owls. So you can check that out, and I'm gonna be really quick about this. Okay. One. So five books. I had. Um, so first off, Transfiguration. And that was oh my god. <laughs> so uh, first I had uh, Transfiguration, and that was a book with uh, spread edges or red on the cover. I read Tales of Beetle the Bard. I gave it five stars. It was utterly adorable and just a really good fairy tale retelling. Not retelling, just fairy tale. For me now. <laughs> For her now. Okay, I didn't know this. Then I had a History of Magic, which was a book that was written over 10 years ago. And for that, I read Harry Potter and the Half-Life Prince and decided that this was my favorite book in the Harry Potter series. I loved it. And yeah, I loved how dark it was and adults and everything. So five stars to this one. Then I had Defense Against the Dark Arts, which was a book starting with art. Mm -hmm. I read Rumies by Christina Lauren. Oh yeah. You can just go check out my second vlog where I have a very rant review about how I hated the book. I gave it one star. I don't give one stars, but oh my <laughs> god, this book didn't have one single quality about it that I could take redeeming quality, redeeming quality that I would take and give it two stars. No, just I was frustrated by the plot. I was frustrated by the characters. I hated the main character. Like I hated her two bits. So yeah. Link down below. Yes. Sorry about it. <laughs> I'm gonna give Christina Laura another try, but that's generous. <laughs> I will, but I wait, really... was that her first book? I, I I think everybody says that it's one of her like least good. Oh, okay. So yeah. Then I had Arithmancy and I read Meek Cute, which is a short story collection about like different people meeting for the first time. I gave it I think three stars was the overall score. Mm -hmm after scoring all the stories and honestly it was a really good read uh, some of the stories were fantastic i really want like a continuation of them because they were so good i really wanted more uh, from them uh, but it was overall a really good short story collection i would recommend it like just for something cute and adorable cool and finally Ancient runes. Okay. okay, that was a retelling. So I started Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I am currently at 42%, so that means I didn't really read it. But you see, like, I really didn't have any will to read it. Like, none at all. Because it just. God, no. You weren't in the mood. No, no, I wasn't. So. I uh, started reading Before We Were Yours by Lisa Wingate, uh, so, which is basically a, a fictionalized story. Mm -hmm. So uh, the characters aren't real, but uh, the whole story is based on stories that she has read about uh, experiences of children that were put into the Tennessee home, Children Home Society, yes. Tennessee Children Home Society, which was an orphanage which actually worked as a front for like black market, mm -hmm. for the black market for selling children. Okay. So I'm kind of stretching the definition of retelling and I'm just gonna say that was a kind of a retelling. So I did my owls! <laughs> Yay! Yay! <baby. laughs> okay. okay, your turn. Alright, so for my uh, profession. I had to read seven books. Uh, the first one was Transfiguration, so book by something with something red on it, whatever. Uh, I read A Red Shirt by John Scalzi, which I left at home. Apologies. <laughs> uh, there'll be a picture somewhere. Yeah. Um, I really liked it. Gave it four stars because it's such a it's such a 
fun thing for people who watch a lot of Star Trek and know the whole Red Shirts joke. And uh, it's very meta, but I can't really tell you about it because it's so spoilery. Uh, but yeah, I had so much fun reading this book and I always have fun reading John Scalzi, so yay! <laughs> Uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts, I had to read a book that starts with the letter R. I was gonna read Retribution Falls, but I ran out of time, so <laughs> I read uh, Volume 1 of Revival by Tim Seeley and a bunch of illustrators. Um, this book, this comic, I didn't... I, I gave it two stars, but <clears throat> it follows a town in which dead people stop being dead, but they don't turn into zombies, they just sort of come back alive and they're a bit different because something's definitely wrong with them, but they're, you know, they're like, they were dead, now they're not dead. And so we follow a couple of people that are dealing with the entire situation, so uh, a sheriff, and then there's the religious group, oh, I fucking hate them, crazy <laughs> religious people, I hate them. And uh, I didn't like it because, I mean, of course, it's introductory, introductory a bit, so, you know, that kind of goes against it, but uh, I didn't like because the female characters were poorly written. And very cliched, oh. like you had a young, uh, like a student. Of course, she's having an affair with her, with her married professor, and then okay. you have this uh, uh, sheriff that she's like a bit. Um, she turns out to be a bit kind of volatile when she like she hooks up with the dude, and then later finds out that uh, they're supposed to work together because the dude oh, okay. uh, turns out to be someone from the CDC. And they like sit in a car and she starts fucking yelling at him, I'm not your slut, I'm not your lucky dude. Out of nowhere. So I was like, okay, fuck this. So I gave it two stars. I'm not going to continue reading it. Even though my sister says it's get, it gets better, but I'm like, no. Uh, next, I had Care of Magical Creatures. Uh, for this, I read Arusha and the uh, End of Time by Rajni Chakshi. I gave it two stars because it was too similar to Peter, uh, Peter Jackson, Percy Jackson and the uh, Lightning Thief. So it basically follows the same plot points of that book. It only has a different mythology. I mean, the mythology was interesting and, and everything. And there was, there was lots of, I'm noticing lots of like, um, uh, what do you call those? Um, not hints, but not tropes. You know when you mention like other popular stuff like Harry Potter, what do you call references? it? References? References, yes. <laughs> so like lots of references to like uh, Harry Potter and, and like uh, po uh, general pop culture. I'm like, okay. okay. I, I don't know. It was well, whatever. But I, I gave it two stars because it was too similar. And just, you know, like I knew what was going to happen. So I didn't really, it didn't okay. grip me as I thought it would. So yeah. Okay. That's a uh, then for Divination, I read volume three of The Sender by Jeff Lemire. Gave it three stars. Uh, it was, I mean, it was fun. Uh, you, in this volume, you get to uh, sort of find out more about the main characters of the comic. So their backstories and stuff. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, it was like, you know, nothing, it, it didn't like advance the plot or anything. Well, okay, there was a cliffhanger at the end or whatever of the volume, but you know, other than that, nothing really. So three stars. Uh, for History Magic, I read, <laughs> I fucking read, The Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch. I gave this book five stars. I love this book. I cannot wait to read the rest of them. But, uh, so uh, when I, it, it takes a minute to get into and okay. uh, things get like, like more complicated, more complicated, more complicated okay. as you go on. And I had a frustrating thing with the bad guy because he was more. Uh, he was. He wasn't all powerful, but he seemed that way. Like he was okay. in control of everything. And if you didn't do exactly what he said, okay. uh, you you're totally dead. Okay. So at <laughs> one point he kidnaps our main case. in the first hundred pages. It has six hundred, so not missing much. <laughs> So at, uh, one, in the first hundred pages, he kidnaps our main character. He's like, okay, you're going to pretend to be me now. So unless you do it, I'm going to kill everybody and everything. And no. uh, so, yeah, uh, there's magic. There's, there's, there's found family. There's some such brutal things happening. Not brutal like it, but there's also violent stuff happening. But like, like think... Mart oh, I, George R. R. Martin kind of oh. brutal, you know? So, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I really loved it. We follow uh, uh, Lo Clamora as he's trying to survive this whole thing. Shebang. Shebang. It's, it's pretty fun. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's that. That's then enough. for Potions, you had to read a sequel. And I read uh, Wundersmith by Jessica Tausden. Woo! This is uh, book number two in the Nevermore Chronicles, silly whatever series. And I gave it four stars. Uh, I really liked it. It's easy to read already in like two or three days. Oh, nice. Um, 
So uh, in the beginning, everybody kept comparing Nevermore to Harry Potter because of yes. the feelings and, and everything. And it's a, it's a similar plot, but this book, this is definitely not Harry Potter. This is so dark. I mean, Ooh. the way they treat our main character. So I'm, I'm don't want to spoil you the first yeah. the, the thing that she works for in the uh, in the first book. She sort of gets to do, and the way they treat her because of the power she has, it mm. is so dark. It, I mean, it's so good. And I was like, okay. I just kept reading it. Oh my god, that's like, I mean, I gave it four stars. It was it was so much fun, and yeah, awesome. so definitely read that okay. if you get if you get the chance. Uh, then the last book I read for uh, my owls is uh, for charms. I read Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. Also gave it four stars. Also an awesome book. Uh, uh, I gave it four stars because there was too much explaining of the magic system. Oh, okay. Because the magic system is um, sort of based upon... You have a sort of core magic and you use it to build things. Okay. And so you have magical things, or rigs, they're called. Oh, okay. And they keep mentioning the rigs all the time. I mean, oh, let's use this rig. This is how it works. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, um, I'm going to do this. I need this rig. But blah, blah. So it's so much explaining. But the plot in general is fun. The characters are, are interesting and awesome. So I really <laughs> like that book. And also that book and, and uh, Wondersmith and I don't know what else. Uh, uh, Aru Shah were nominated for, are nominated for Book to SFF oh, Awards. So, you so I read three of them. Way to go. <laughs> so yay. yay. And uh, that's it for my house. And I was also successful for, and so maybe in, in August, I think the news yes. are. The news, when the news come, I hope I don't have a lot of books, but I think I will. Well, I know you have to pass, like, what, if you want an Oh my a, god, you, you, get, like, you get graded a, like a, three yeah. books for one. Oh my god, I'm so screwed. All right, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how, how this goes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that okay. was our, our wrap up. Yes, uh, please uh, like, subscribe. Subscribe. Like, subscribe, share. Talk to us down in the comments if you want to. Uh, what else? That's it. Uh, we Hopefully you were also successful in your owls. Yes, and thank you for watching. And, and we'll, we'll see you in the next, next video. video. Bye! Bye.